Is the human brain controlled by viruses? Um, that's not so far-fetched, and I will attach a link below by Scientific America. It's called When Viruses Invade the Brain. So scientists are now learning things about viruses that they never knew before. And I have a theory because I've often wondered why people are so stupid. I mean, you can a lot of times show people evidence of certain things and yet they'll just believe what they want. People are pretty much either controlled or ruled by their beliefs or they're controlled and ruled by viruses or they can choose to be more honest with themselves and be um, more realistic and more rational, but that's kind of hard to find in people. Um, I, for one, have often wondered for one thing, how is it people can be so stupid as to when they cough, <coughs> they cough on their hand, which then in turn, they spread the germs and viruses everywhere, doorknobs, other people come along, they, they expose their kids to it, they expose their family to it, they expose the society in general to it. When they go to the store and they touch the grocery carts and then people touch their mouths and their hands and their face, and that's how colds are spread. And it seems to me beyond obvious how people are doing this, and I'm always very mindful, I don't want to spread germs. And if I have to sneeze, my reaction always is to turn my head into my into my shoulder, into my arm, or into my sleeve. If I'm wearing a long sleeve, then I do this. If I'm wearing short sleeve, I do this. If I'm not wearing any sleeves, I take my shirt and I go like this. I always do that. It's just a habit. I don't even think about it because I've often think also do think about how I don't want to spread germs because I don't want other people spreading germs. I feel like you should do unto others how you would have them do unto you. No, I'm not religious. I don't read the Bible, but that's just my own personal feelings on this subject. I don't want to expose people to my viruses and germs any more than I'd want to be exposed to other people's germs and viruses. So I feel like it's it's my... Um, it's, it's like, it's go, it goes, it would go against my consciousness to do that. So I don't do that. Just like I would never intentionally harm someone. Um, it's just, it's just my human side. So my theory is this, because I don't really believe that people want to intentionally spread their germs to others. And I don't want to believe that they're they're that stupid that they're doing it on you know that un, unintentionally that I think that the reason they don't think about it is because they have something some kind of virus blocking the neuron in their brain that would signal that information to them and I believe that people are for the most part being controlled by these viruses because one of the things viruses have to do to, to survive is to spread to other people. They, they like to propagate or spread themselves around. So um, instead of just staying in one host, because eventually that host will die, they like to spread around to, to, to other hosts. Uh, young people, old people, everywhere. They spread everywhere. And the only way viruses can do this is if the person they are hosting is somehow their brains are blocked from this information. That's my theory. I stand by this theory and I'm sure AI would tell you no differently if we had super AI, which is general or which is artificial intelligence beyond human, um, beyond the human mind. I think even generally I could tell you this. I mean, it's easy to figure out. I'm going to attach the link again and you can see for yourself. Take care.